All right, guys, this is Zimit Stallworth again, the Alpha Builder. Guys, once again, the channel is, is growing. Um, so in order for you guys to help it grow, I want you guys to um, hit that, you know, do some thumbs up, hit the bell button so that it'll constantly remind you um, when I do a new video. But guys, what I want to talk about today is the Builder's Lifeline. And the Builder's Lifeline is your credit. As a builder, guys, I don't I don't care how you do it. You whether you're doing custom builds, whether you're doing um spec builds, especially if you're doing spec builds, if you spec building, you got to have credit. You got to have credit with somebody, guys. You cannot let your credit fall apart. If you mess around and you lose your credit worthiness, you're out the game. You're out the game. Banks are not gonna give. They're not gonna extend you loans. Um, subcontractors and definitely subcontractors, definitely local subcontractors. If you guys have local building supply companies and concrete companies and stuff like that, if guys, if you even pay them slow, you can pay them off. Like the local companies and and, and even the bigger companies are, are following the same path. If you pay them slow. Once you get finished paying them, you're not going to have any more credit with them. They, they're not going to want to. You can get it cash on delivery, which that's no credit. I, that's, that's not going to help you because here's the reason that you need credit. The reason that you need credit. And let's just say, for instance, guys, you're building a custom, even a custom job where the homeowner has went out there. They they have secured a loan from a lending institution. And. Um, and all you got to do, and they make draws, they make constant draws to your building company to do this, to build this particular product, to build this house. Well, the bank is going to send an inspector out there and the inspector is not going to do anything. He's not going to, he's not going to, he's not going to give you any credit or he's not going to do anything or, or the bank is not going to release anything until that product is done. So if, if it's time to do the footings, I, I, I just even getting a building permit, guys. If you go get a house, and I'm just here in Alabama, so if you go get a permit, on average, your permit is going to be four to five thousand dollars. So you got to have at least that just to get the permit. Now, now when you know when the when the uh, inspector for the bank come out here, he ain't looking at no permit. He's looking at the footings or the or the excavation or the clearing of the lot. You got to have money or you have to have credit extended to you some kind of way to be able to do that, um, do those things um, in order for you to even get your draws from the bank. You know, so. Like concrete. You know, the, the inspector comes out there and he sees concrete, he sees the footing out there here right off. You got X percentage of the footing done. And then what they'll do is they'll send that to the bank and the bank will release the percentage for that footing as a percentage of the house, maybe like 1% or 2% or whatever it is. And they'll release that to you. And then you can get that money. But you got to have the money to get that concrete out there. Those concrete trucks are not going to move if they don't think you're going to be able to pay them or if you don't have credit with them. Or you can do a credit card. Well, you still got to have a credit card. Even if you did a credit card, now if you did a COD and you don't have an account established with those concrete guys, um, what's going to happen is they're going to put you on a COD account, which means that your concrete is going to cost almost 50 to $60 more than if you had a, a business account with them. See, that, that bumps you up. So if you don't have credit, you got to pay more. So, so guys, your, your credit is critical. you got to have credit um, throughout the entire process. I mean, you got to have you have to have credit, like, say, for instance, on your cabinets. Well, that's probably not a good one, because typically on cabinets, you got to pay you got to pay half down on cabinets. And, and but, but here's the thing. If you got to go get windows. You got to get windows, guys. The first thing you need to order when you start digging footings, the first thing you need to order. Is your windows. Well, you got to, you know, you got to, you got to pay for them things up. You know, they don't, they don't just, they usually take partial payment up front. 
but you got to have that money. You know, one of the packages that costs you uh, $25,000, $30,000. You got to have that. This is how it works, guys. So, guys, don't take your credit for granted. I think, guys, in the school system, they need to – this is one of the things that they should teach in the school. I mean, there, there should be classes in schools, financial literacy, credit. Teach you how to pay people back, guys. The name of the game, look here, man. Now, I, I've been slow on paying people before. I've ran into in the 2007, man, back during that time. And even, even sometimes you can have a homeowner that pays slow. Well, if the homeowner pays slow, you probably going to have to pay slow. Unless you use your own money and just wait on it. Now you didn't lock your money up with their stuff, but you really don't want to do that. But, you know, um, pay these people off, man. Pay them off. Um, get them paid. Um, so I just want to come on here and just, um, that was one of the little things that I had on my list that I needed to talk about was builders. If you're trying to be a builder, now most builders already know, most of the older builders, they already know this. But guys, if you're trying to get in this building game, I'm trying to talk to people who are trying to get into the game. Um, guys, if you're trying to get into this game, what you got to do is you got to make sure you get your credit right. You know, um, 750 and you want to try to have a little higher, you know, 7, 720 is, is really good. And, and the reason I say 720 or something like that, because even if you lose it, you know, even if you, if you go out there and try to get credit extended to your company and cause, cause guys, as a, as a builder, even if you got an LLC and you starting out, you're going to have to be the personal guarantor for that LLC. They're not going to just, Oh, you got a company? We're going to let the end them or suffice. No, no, no. You have got, you're going to sign documents saying that if there's a problem and these people didn't get paid for this company, it's going to bounce back to you. Now, guys, you know, there's ways out of, you know, if, if things get crazy, um, you might be able to pull your personal self out of that game, but, but pay the people off. If they're right now, I've had situations where the homeowner and the, and the company that I had credit with, they they made a decision to ship product to a site without my authorization. Well, no, you're not going to no, know. I will fight you. I will go to the end of the world fighting you on that one because I didn't authorize it. Um, but credit is one of the credit is one of the things, man, and not just in in building construction, guys, but also in just life itself, you know. Now, I don't suggest people just go out here and just um, just get credit cards and stuff and just run amok. Um, but now I do, you know, uh, to a degree, I do have certain credit cards that I use. And, and let me just tell you why I, I like, you know, credit cards. And this is my little credit card thing. But, guys, credit cards are really good for shopping online. You know, uh, credit cards are really good if you if you use them correctly. If you take advantage of the point system, so, you know some of these. Man, I have an American Express, guys. I probably got. I've only had this thing about eight nine months, man. I probably racked up about three thousand dollars worth of um, like money, three three thousand dollars worth of points that I've racked up on it. Well, of course, I, I in, in the building thing too. So if you're taking advantage of the points, but now. Credit cards are good if you don't carry a balance on them. If you don't, like I have a credit card, I don't carry a balance on it. You know, it, you know when I get paid or, or however things work, I, each month we start over new. Don't, I don't carry a balance on that thing, but I use it as a convenient tool because the worst case scenario is something go down or somebody get a hold of my card and they that, that scamming and all that kind of stuff. Well, I can get that money back. Uh, I can get that wiped off. I can get that off. They got good programs like that. They got good scam fraud programs on those credit cards. Now, debit card, you got to be careful with that one. See, a debit card, that goes straight to your account. They wipe that. If they wipe your account out on your debit card, it's going to take you a minute to get that rectified or, or, or figured out. So, you know, get your credit right, guys. Builders, get your credit right. Um, when you make agreement with people to pay them, pay them, you know, 
And you're going to have to have credit, man. You can't, whether it's a credit card, whether it's banks, or whether it's just simply having credit with those vendors, you know, a 30 day window that you can have the product shipped and you can have your guys install it so that the bank guys can come around, the inspectors can come around and see what you got. And then what they can do is they can give you credit for it and then you can pay them back You're within a 30 day frame or whatever time, you know, usually about net 30 days. But you're going to have to have credit for those contractors or subcontractors or suppliers. You're going to have credit extended to you with those guys. That's just the way it is, man. And you can't get out of that. If you're going to be a builder, you got to have it. So, you know, be careful with your credit, man. Don't go out and let your mama get a <laughs> get a phone in your name or something like that, man, and jack your credit up. But, guys, once again, man, like, share, subscribe. I just want to come on here and do this quick one right quick like and um, just let you guys know. Um, I just had that on my board to kind of discuss, make sure we talk about this right here. And guys, if you guys have any type of um, subject matter that you want me to go into detail on, and if I've experienced it, I talk about it, um, you know, um, it, it actually helps me create a content board like that I have right here. All right, like, share, subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Have a good day.